today i'm super excited to be sharing this video with you guys because today we're gonna be talking about cameron and colloid's relationship on the miseducation of cameron post this movie was actually released a couple of years ago but i actually realized that i haven't done a review regarding it and i was like why not do it you know just in case any of you haven't watched the movie yet because me personally i will definitely recommend you guys to go watch it if you haven't watched it this movie was was actually released in 2019 and it's available to watch on netflix in a couple of years i know this movie will definitely become one of a classics even though it's not that you know popular you know even though they have a lot of popular actresses but i feel like they needed more spotlight on it but a lot of people also have said that this was a very very big movie so i just wanted to share it with you guys just in case any of you have missed it so let's get right into the more details regarding their relationship and everything that developed between these two young ladies on the movie and please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel and thank you thank you so much for everybody who likes who comments who shares and who subscribe i really do appreciate it so let's get right into it so basically the movie is set in 1993 cameron's boyfriend sketches her sharing an intimate moment with colay colay and cameron meets at the bible study they used to they used to you know go to bible study together and that's where they made their first connection with one another colay and cameron were having a secret romance they were keeping things very very private and very silent because they didn't want anyone around them no friends nobody to find out about their situation colay and cameron got caught during prom you know they were they were having prom and having dancing and having fun and that's when they actually got caught colay's parents found up uh, found actually found out about the whole situation and cameron's you know family members also found out about the whole situation and that's when things took a very very big turn cameron got sent to a religion camp to get help you know because according to her family members like she, this is a sin she can't do this so there was the only way she, they could keep colay and cameron of you know away from one another and also allow cameron to get healing according to them Cameron post shows the struggle of teenagers who having to de deal with their sexuality, you know, and being around a very religion and conservative environment. That's basically what the movie is about, is when you know sexuality and religion meets and you're young and you're trying to figure out who you are and what you want and you have to go through, you know, also knowing that you come from a very conservative background and a conservative environment, city and all of that. So all of those, all of those roles play a role during the movie you know the movie is entirely driven by the character of Cameron she's the main character you will see a, you will see a lot a lot of her even though Colette doesn't appear that much on the movie but she plays a very big role you know on the movie and in the movie while being you know at the camp Cameron receives a letter from Colette in the letter Colette and Cameron she actually blames Cameron of taking advantage of her vulnerability. So basically, uh, Colette didn't want to take no responsibility for her role that she have played in them getting involved. It was just the easier way out to blame Cameron for everything that happened because of the how the way they got caught and all of that, making Cameron question where whether or not she was the wrong for pursuing a relationship with another girl. It started to make her feel like it's my fault, you know. Uh, Cole is such a good girl. Everybody wants to be friends with her. Maybe I took advantage of our relationship, and maybe I am the one to blame for everything that happened between us, and maybe I am the one to blame for me being here today because maybe i shouldn't be the way that i am you know like being into girls cameron is convinced that the situation is is you know is her fault and that colay is right to blame her for everything and then her friends was like no you are not the one to blame for anything it happened because it had to happen but since it's already at the camp and going through the treatment and going through everything so it just makes more sense for her to blame everything on her because she's the one at the camp and not colay in this case after the letter you know cameron resolved herself to get better putting more effort into the conversion program to start obeying the rules, be more precipitant and understanding, yes, maybe I am doing wrong. Maybe this is the only chance I have to get myself together and not be this way anymore. Everything take a turn when a young man who is also part of the conversion camp and the conversion program took his own life away in a very, very tragic situation that happened. That, that really, really impacted the whole camp program. Cameron got super involved emotionally, you know, because of that event and that changed her 
her whole ways you know because she starts seeing and viewing things differently and was like if this program is working if this you know if this conversion camp really is what they say it is then why did this you know my colleague you know did did this to him to himself to hurt himself you know it doesn't make sense and of course everything that goes on during the movie is very hard for the, everything they go through like the therapy sections um the conversations that they have to have with one another that you know having your teachers all up in in your ear you like basically obligate you to talk well, in, knowing that you are not ready to talk about certain situations so things get really really complicated for Cameron and at the beginning Cameron was being very like I don't want to be here I'm only here because they sent me here but later on after the letter that's when she actually start opening herself and be like okay I have to be more precipitant because I realized that I'm the one who's wrong and Colette was right so that made her you know uh, open herself more to being at the camp but at the end of the movie you know the movie ends in a very very mysterious way uh Cole and Cameron they don't end up together Cole told Cameron basically to leave her alone you know Cameron moved on with her life and even got a quick involvement with one of her roommates at the camp uh, actually Cameron didn't know that her roommate also liked girls and they had this quick involvement which was a whole shock to Cameron because she didn't expect you know her roommate to 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 go to her you know so had they had this quick moment nothing nothing really developed further than that it was just a moment between them and that was actually her realizing like okay i'm not the only one there are more people like me you know i i don't have to you know put myself in this position and try to fix myself knowing that i'm not the only one look at this girl she's my roommate and she also likes what i like you know so that also made her change her whole way of thinking at the end of the movie the movie ends very mysteriously because i don't know if at the end of the movie cameron and their friends they run away or you know or do they just go out to the city to catch some air or you know do they actually leave the camp you know i don't know but i at the end of the movie the movie ended, uh, ended like a little bit darkish i don't know if you guys have watched the movie please let me know what did you think about the ending at the end me personally i would definitely think like they may maybe ran away you know after everything that happened to the colleague i think like they was like okay this is it this is a wrap we're we out of here you know i don't know let me know what was your thoughts regarding the finale it's a very interesting movie about when your sexuality meets your re meets religion you know that's basically what the movie is about but yes guys please please let me know down below in the comments what you guys thought about this movie did you like it do you dislike it and what are your personal opinion regarding this movie i will also drop the link of the wolf pride kennel brand down below in the description just in case any of you would like to go and shop with us i would definitely definitely appreciate that you know it's halloween candle season winter is coming up candle season go shop with us and stand for what you believe in wolf bright i really hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as i have enjoyed making it i hope i see you guys again at the next video and goodbye